If you have function blocks or structured text available, then that's how you want to do your analog scaling. Let's talk about how to do it in structured text. Previously, I showed you how to wire a two wire and a four wire sensor, and we are going to use the SIM ALB2 to simulate our analog signal. And I have it so it's displayed nice and large on this HMI. And the default routine is a ladder routine. So we're going to right click our main program, add new routine. And the most important thing is we need to select a structured text type. And then I'm going to call this my scaling. And if you notice, we have almost the same instruction bar that we have in function blocks. If I go to my process tab, there is the SCL instruction. And I'm going to call this my analog SCL. And then I'm going to right click it, new tag. And since I do it right here, then it knows what to do. And I don't need to know these data types. That's why I like to do it that way. Now, before I actually execute the SCL, I will need to put the analog input into that analog SCL. So I'm just going to hit enter and I'm going to go up and I'm going to start typing analog SCL. And there it is dot and we want this in right here colon equal and then we're going to need this tag in my analog input so it's going to start with local colon i dot and then i want ch1 data because i have it wired to channel one and i always forget these but there you need a semicolon at the end of that and finally, I need to put that output value into my analog scales. So I'm going to type analog scale colon equals analog SCL dot. And now I want the out semicolon. And then actually I have an error here. We can tell that by the little squiggly line. But let's go ahead and hit the verify button just so we can see how we would see this. I'm going to hit the verify routine. And it says statement not terminated by a semicolon. So yeah, right there, I forgot to put my semicolon. And also I need to create analog scale. So right click analog scale, new tag. And then it's going to default to a dip, but I want some decimals in this. So I'm going to use a real. And let's hit the verify button again, just so we can see this, because I forget this all the time. You create a new program and then you download it. And it's like, oh man, I forgot. The only program that is ran by default is this main routine. So I'm going to go back there and I want to put a JSR in to get to that scaling routine. And we could go find it or while you're highlighting rung zero, you can simply type JSR enter and that'll bring that instruction up. Double click or question mark and select scaling and that'll get that going. But we need to do a little bit more in our scaling because now we need to put our values into this analog SCL. So we're going to right click it and monitor it. So the EU min and EU max, that's actually the out. So right here, I've got analog SCL dot out. That is the scaling of that out. I really wish they would name this the out max and the out min or rename the other one EU. But so I want this to be 4 to 20 milliamps. So I'm going to put 4 and 20. And then we need our raw values. And this is something they do really well in Studio 5000. Is all we need to do is right click our analog module and properties. And then we're going to go to the configuration tab. And right here is our low engineering and high engineering units. Now someone is going to tell me in the comments, well, all you had to do was put the values you want in those. But the issue is that's scaling an integer. So those are whole numbers. And I want 4 to 20 milliamps. So I'm losing resolution as I bring those down. So you really don't want to do that. You want to keep those. I Personally, I feel at their default units because that's one what I'm going to be familiar with when I go to troubleshoot. So my min raw will be 3277. And my max raw will be 16383. 3277, 16383. And we're ready to download this program. And if you need any help downloading your program or want to hit any of the other basics or advanced functions, then subscribe to our channel because we have videos on a wide variety of topics. And we're going to go to current source mode on the SIM ALP2. And as I begin bringing my value up, we see the value matching on my HMI. And in structured text, by default, you're not going to see any value. But one really cool thing is these glasses over here. The far right icon on this online bar, if you'll click it, then you're going to see the values right there. So as I bring it up, 
it's also matching there. Now that we have our analog signal wired, whether it be a two wire or four wire sensor, and we have it scaled, probably the next most difficult thing you'll have to do is troubleshoot it. So click here to learn about it.